Welcome to Enchanted Tarot. Before I begin, I would like to say thank you to everyone who has liked, shared, subscribed, and who has donated to this channel. Also, thank you to everyone who has purchased a reading with me. This is for the sign of Capricorn. Um, this is for um, things, the energies around that um, full moon in April, how it might possibly affect some of you. Um, so please keep in mind it is a general reading that means it will not resonate with each and every one of you who are watching so let's begin your um your first card out which represents a situation is this eight of swords energy so this is a self-imposed prison and being unable to see beyond your fears. You can see this person has that sword tied to them. Uh, their eyes are covered. Uh, maybe there's something that they don't want to see. It sits next to this two of rods, which is being unable to decide. It's like you're at this crossroads. Um, this person's feeling very down. There could be an obstacle here. Perhaps it's an obstacle. Maybe they're not even seeing it because they seem to be um, looking elsewhere. Um, yeah, they're looking over here. Okay, so um, this has to do with um, an offer from the past. I feel someone that you turned down previously because the person brought you um, extreme heartache. You walked away because you felt you had to, not because you wanted to, but you felt you had to. And you can see the three of swords here and the four sits above it. So this is remembered pain. You, you haven't forgotten it. So here is your mental uh, stress and here is the emotional uh, pain that uh, most likely is keeping you pinned here okay um, I feel like the person comes back uh, wanting another chance and you want to believe them you really want to but I feel like this this pain creeps up on you because you see to externally she looks just fine very confident but when she looks in the mirror it's like those pain that pain just kind of comes back creeps up on her and she just doesn't know what to do. Okay, so this person has betrayed, has betrayed you. And we know it's you because you sit beneath here. You see? This is you. And then you appear here again. And you see the offer. You're not taking it. You don't know what to do because, okay, you, it's like you're, you're, you're remembering but you love this person it's clear on your face that even when you walked away you love this person because you walked away you took the swords with you and you're crying so um very painful experience for you you could be waiting uh, with the three of swords sitting beneath this two of rods um okay i'm not going to decide right now i'm going to wait and see wait and see have they changed are they being honest because there's um this card here of the false halo so you're not tr you're not trusting this person and, and you know in the past there's something you didn't see till it was too late because neptune is here but you may feel um emotionally powerless when it comes to this person You still, you know, you you still wish for this person. Um, you still desire them. They are a wish of yours. But they caused you a lot of heartbreak. The draw on this for you is that you still love, you still love this person. So it's like you're actually resisting. Um, the final cut you know you don't want to release them because you love them but on the other hand this person betrayed you basically and you you walked away in the past you feeling that you made a bad choice that you got burned by that person with the seven of cups being in reverse 
you saw things clearly and you know you're getting out of there that person obviously you might have felt did not love you because they betrayed you and if they loved you why would they betray you right secrets having come to light with the moon being in reverse so with regards to this person coming back you've got mixed feelings ace of swords is in the reverse uh, about this uh, person about the breakup about whether or not you can come together wanting to reach for that opportunity feeling um, again it's that emotional tie that you know has you feeling powerless because you don't feel that it's over so this person comes back extending the olive branch but you're of two minds you don't know which foot to stand on you don't know what to do um, something will come to light um, you've got luck on your side you've got protection on your side with the with the talisman being here and you will succeed in finding your truth Um, we have the griffin here and the griffin um, is a card that well it can speak to honor and and um, honor and good luck and it can also speak to risks now um, the wizard uh, is somebody who offers advice so you may seek advice for some from someone with regards to making this decision um, now the advice um, can be can be good or can be bad and if it is bad advice it will uh, lead to misfortune this card would be saying okay but now um, you've already um, you've you've already got with this wisdom that you need uh, inside of you I feel it's just that you know perhaps you you have not been listening to your intuition and maybe you need to with Pythia here and don't let any um, because I just saw that we had the uh, the chimera here don't allow your uh, fantasies um, cloud your judgment um, with regards uh, to making this decision okay so use the skills that, that, that you already have gained because Mimosen says that your answer you you can find your answer it lies in the past But, you know, maybe there's there's just so much that you don't want to remember. And so it's, it's like serves as a block. Those swords would be blocking you from getting to that answer. So that is what I have for you. And um, I thank you for watching. Many blessings. Bye for now.